Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 10.2.1. Now to begin, this is a this is an unstable jailbreak. Your phone will crash a few times with this jailbreak. It will probably reboot itself once every couple of days. But this is the only jailbreak out at the moment for iOS 10.2.1. And in the end, this won't harm your phone or anything. It's just a bit unstable. So the jailbreak is called Sagon. You probably heard of it. It's circulating on the internet right now. A lot of people, a lot of people are having an issue. When they click jailbreak, it will not escape sandbox. And I myself have that issue once in a while. But here I'm going to show you that all you have to do is just keep restarting the app. It may take five tries. It may take three tries. It may take may take 10 tries. It can get a bit annoying, but eventually it will launch this sandbox and your jailbreak is completed. Oh, we got some action here, finally. And my phone crashed. This is also a common issue. Unfortunately, your phone will probably reboot itself a few times before the jailbreak succeeds. Let's do it one more time and this is really the the steps that you want to do like every time it fails just keep restarting it have patience i'm just trying to show you the realistic side on how tedious it may be to jailbreak your phone but eventually it will work trust me okay we got more action again let's see if it crashes this time okay it says installing Cydia. that's how you know it succeeded so what my phone is doing right now, it's respringing itself. And it's a good sign. If you don't see the Apple logo in the middle of the screen, that means your jailbreak was successful. Now, as soon as it resprings itself, I'm going to show you the basic features. Okay, so we're in the phone right now. And one of the things that gives away the jailbreak is this app animation that I have on in the top left corner, but obviously my phone is now jailbroken. It took us around five minutes, as you can see by the time on my phone. Um, and yeah, so if we go back to the app right now, it tells us that we're jailbroken. Now, since I've shown you the realistic part about jailbreaking your phone, I am going to explain how to get the file from the internet, which is very easy, it takes 30 seconds. And one more thing, once you have, once you install the file from the computer, make sure you go to settings and trust this, um, this profile. So what you want to do, go to general and go to uh, profiles and device management. And you're going to have your email pop up here on the developer app. And once you click on that, the Sagon, you're going to verify it. It's gonna be around here uh, where you click on it and it verifies whatever and now your phone is uh, it's gonna trust the jailbreak okay so this is the computer part of the jailbreak this is really the first step of the whole process so you want to go the to the official Sagon website that I included in the description and it will show you all the downloading procedures. So number one, you're going to need the Cydia Impactor. Uh, I will not walk you through how to install that. It's very simple. Click on this. It will install it for you. You're going to open that file and connect your device. Trust your, trust your phone, obviously. You're going to drag the file into the Cydia Impactor. Enter your Apple ID. Open settings. You're going to trust the Sagon and do the part where I showed you of launching the app on your phone. Okay, now let's do this for real. We're gonna download the beta. I have a downloaded bottom left corner. We're gonna open in folder and we're gonna drag this file, this top file over to the Cydia Impactor. Okay, so this is the Cydia Impactor over here. This is how it looks like when opened. Okay, and you're just gonna drag it right over here. And this is where all these iTunes emails come in. So you're gonna enter all your 
password information and stuff like that. Okay, once you enter all your iTunes information, it's gonna, it's gonna launch it, boom. And this is where it puts the actual app on your phone. Make sure you have it connected to the computer. Okay, so once it launches it, it's gonna say complete. You can safely exit out of all of this folder nonsense. And the rest is, I already showed you. You're gonna launch the app and jailbreak it. Sorry, this was a bit out of order. I just wanted to show the most important step in the beginning because that is really what causes the most issues. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful and you gained something from it. Uh, please leave a like and any questions, uh, leave them down in the description. I will try to help to the best of my abilities. Thank you, have a nice day.